so uh, this research is based on uh, the flight of an see. So um, what we did was we observed how natural maple seeds and our uh, prototype maple seeds fall using this camera system. Um, and what sort of came out of that was that they fly in two different flight paths, which vary by the size of the circle that it traverses as it descends, um, as well as the wing pitch. So large wing pitch will result in a very concise circle as it falls, whereas the low wing pitch will result in a very large radius circle that it falls. And so, by controlling the size of the circle that the vehicle is flying in, you can control the direction of the flight path. Um, and so, you can go anywhere you want. You know, you get there via uh, sort of a series of circles. So. so that would be a large circle. That would be a small circle. Small circle, large circle. And you can see it's coupled to the altitude as well. Why is it coupled to the altitude? Uh, because the wing pitch controls the altitude, and that's how I also control the direction. So the relative altitude. Pardon? The relative altitude. Absolute or relative? You just control the wing pitch. Just wing pitch. Constant throttle wing pitch. And the wing pitch is, I mean, they're, a, they're very slow inputs. It's not a cyclic input, input like uh, is on a traditional helicopter. So my inputs are like, very slow. How do you get so how do you get translational motion? How, how do you control? So that's done again with the, the wing pitch. So you just have to be well trained to know when to move your thumb to get it to go. Uh, yeah, but it's you know it, it should be. I'm the only one who can fly it right now, but um, <laughs> that's just because I'm not even picking it. Uh, so I don't let a lot of people fly it. Um, but actually, a, actually, a little girl flew it from the science challenge. Um, so it, it should be easier to fly than a helicopter or an airplane. Let's find its wonderful demeanor. So this is uh, basically what is a hover. Um, there's a little bit of wind movement in the room, so it's uh, traveling around. Yeah, you can blow on it and it'll move. There you go. Um, so... Uh, I can get the vehicle to start moving and translating. So, so what are you controlling? You're controlling the propeller speed. So the propeller speed is hit. set at constant, right? Yeah. But it's but as you climb, it slows down with also the resistance, right? Right. Uh, yeah, it's for show and it's for night flight. Okay. So I can fly these things at night without any problem because the orientation doesn't have any influence really on the direction of travel. Um, so I don't need to know the orientation. So like a, a helicopter or an airplane, if you're flying it, um, you know, it's like I'm running out of battery. If it's coming towards you, the controls are reversed from, from if it's going away from it. Whereas this guy, it's just a, the mean motion of the center of the carpet. So you were, so you were raising it up now by the pitch? Uh, that was just a throttle climb, but... Okay, so then I, I, I still don't know how you can tell to go that way. So I start getting it to rock again. So basically the vehicle flies in the same way that um, a natural maple seed flies. So the, a natural maple seed, there might not be enough room for this big one, they get But um, the way that natural maple seeds fly is they either go straight down or they go into... Um, <laughs> And each person doesn't know what the other person is doing. Right. <laughs> so what that means is that in the presence of a perturbation or, or a gust, it will actually increase its forward velocity. So it's not terribly gusty right now in here. 
so it's not getting that input. So I have to sort of shake it around a little bit up and down to get it to start translating. So there's, so there's a lot of art in getting this into where you want it to go. Uh, I think so, yeah, yeah. But there's substantially less art than there would be in a helicopter or an airplane. Um, because you are always traveling in a circle and you can only travel, you can only change the direction of that circle. Now, you know, I could pick a person out and run into them if I wanted to, right? Fly in a certain